Hello students, chapter 7, section 3, deforming the earth crust, students, before our section let us remember our section 1 and section 2, section 1 students firstly, uh, physical layer and chemical layer, chemical layer of earth, students, crust, mantle and core, crust, Mantle and earth, as you remember, crust, the surface layer of earth, and it is mostly made by silicon, oxygen, aluminium, and little bit iron. Uh, mantle layer, that means middle layer, is made by magnesium mostly, less oxygen and silicon. Core, students, core, it is made by iron and less nickel, students, is on chemical composition of earth and there is uh, physical layer of earth students remember that it is what four uh, five layer of uh, physical layer of earth what are they crust upper mantle mantle outer core and inner core that mean what is it thermosphere thermosphere mesosphere stratosphere troposphere this one from atmosphere to come down what is the first layer is firstly crust then after crust lithosphere under the lithosphere it is mesosphere thermosphere then inner core and outer core these are uh, our physical properties of uh, earth and lithosphere layer very important students because why it is important for tectonic plates why tectonic plate remember tectonic plate uh, lithosphere crust and upper part of mantle we are going to call lithosphere so lithosphere move when lithosphere lithosphere layer move we call uh, tectonic plate section 2 students we learn the boundaries mostly boundaries there are three kind of boundaries students the first kind of boundary is convergence boundary students don't don't forget second kind of uh, boundary students divergent boundaries when two tectonic plates separate the boundary between them is called divergent boundary two layer going to opposite side is called divergent boundary and uh, third kind of boundary transfer boundary the layer of earth move horizontally as you see this one called transfer boundary Section 3 is students deforming the earth crust, the earth's crust. Different things happen to rock when different type of stress are applied. Here it is uh, similar to tectonic plate. That means the crust layer move, but it is going to destroy the layer of uh, earth. That means crust layer of earth. It's called deforming earth's crust. In this section, we are going to learn those things, those objectives. What are they? Describe two types of stress that deform rocks. Describe three major types of faults. Explain difference between the three major of three types of faults. Deformation. The process by which the shape of rock change because of stress is called the formation that means the crust layer of earth going to destroy it or going to what uh, the formation below the spaghetti there are two examples of spaghetti below the spaghetti they form in two different way by bending as you see by bending and by breaking illustrate this concept the same thing happen in rock layer rock layer meaning crust layer of earth Rock layer bends when stress placed on them, but not enough stress to place on rocks, they can reach their elastic limit and break. When a small amount of stress is applies, uh, placed on uncooked spaghetti, the spaghetti bends, additional stress causes the spaghetti to break. When enough, when earth apply enough force, it is break, the cross layer break. What it is not apply enough force, it is going to be bent. It is going to be different shape of 
rock or crossleaf. Compression and tension, the type of stress that occurs when an object is squeezed, such as when two tectonic plates, that means lithosphere layer, collide, is called compression. When compressions occur at convergent boundary, remember three type of boundary, large mountain forms. Large mountain forms. I have one example here, students. Please look here. Can you see this one lithosphere? This one cross layer, that one. This one uh, upper part of mantle. Both of them we called uh, lithosphere. Two lithosphere layer push each other. So what happened? The part of land rise up. When the part of uh, land rise up, it is going to be mountain. The mountain form. So, students, let us continue our. When compression occurs at a convergent boundary, large mountain range range can form. Another form of stress stress is tension. Tension is stress that occur when forces act to stretch an object. As you made guesses, tension occurs at divergent plate boundaries, such as as mid ocean uh, reaches when two tectonic plates pull away from each other. Folding, the bending of rock. Layers because of stress in the Earth's crust is called folding. Sometimes the Earth crust bending, the Earth crust bending, that bending we call folding. Scientists assume that all rock layers start as horizontal layers. So when scientists scientists see a fold, they know that the formation has taken place. Folding, for example, when the layer of Earth moving, sometimes it is called the earthquake. Type of folds depending on how the rocks layer deform, that means destroyed. Different type of fold are made up. Uh, figure two shown the two most common type of fold: anticline or upward arching fold and syncline. Downward through like fold. Another type of fold is monocline. In monocline, rock layer are folded so that both end of the fold are horizontal. Fold can be large or small. The largest fold are measured in kilometers. The small fold can be measured in centimeters. Let us check some definition. For example, what is meaning compression? Compression stress that occur when forces act to squeezes an object. Tension stress that occurs when forces act to stretch an object. Folding the bending of rock layer do stress. Can you, as you see here, can you see the the layer, the rock layer bending. We call that process folding. Of course, that process happen in crust layer. Crust, crust layer. Remember three layer of earth, crust, mantle, and uh, core. Folding, the surface along which rock break and slide past each other is called fold. The fold of crust and on each side of fold are called fold blocks. When a fold is not vertical, understanding the differences between its two slides, the hanging wall, be careful, hanging wall, and the foot wall, not football, foot wall is useful uh, in section uh, figure four, four, when you see is foot wall. That means foot wall meaning you can go with your leg through the, the, that fold. Can you see the man can walk with his foot? What about hanging? 
it it has to be move with rope of some things. All right, it's useful. Figure four showing the differences between hanging wall and a foot wall. The type of fall, fault fault that form depend uh, how the hanging wall and foot wall move in relationship to each other. Fault are dividing into three types there are three type of faults what are they normal faults reserve faults and straight slip faults the position of a fault block determines whether it's a hanging wall or football football there are as i told you there are three kind of faults what are they Firstly, normal faults, reserve faults, and straight slip faults. Let us start first kind first kind of uh, faults. Normal faults. A normal fault is shown figure five as you see here. When a normal fault moves, it causes a hanging wall to move down relationship to foot wall. Can you see what the uh, the boundary that means the layer of crust or rocks going to opposite side. I'm going to opposite side. Sorry. Opposite side. So what happened? Move down relative to the foot wall. Normal faults usually occurs when tectonic forces. Tectonic. Uh, remember tectonic. When crust layer move or lithosphere move. Tectonic force causes tension that pulls rocks apart normal fault when rocks are applied apart because of tension normal faults often form as you see the the layer of cross going to uh, opposite side it is similar to divergent boundaries second kind of fault students reserve fault is shown figure 5 as you see when a reserve fault move, it causes to the hanging wall to move up relationship to foot wall. The, the, movement, the movement is the reserve of normal fault. Reserve fault usually happen when tectonic forces cause compression that push rocks together. As you see, remember normal faults. It is going to be different side, like divergent uh, boundary. But as you see here, it is an opposite of normal fault. It is coming to what? The rock layer pushing each other. It is like that. Look here. Can you see the cross layer pushing each other? When they push each other, what happened? It is form of mountain. It is important point. So, reserve fault. When rocks are pushed together by compression, reserve fault often form. Third kind of uh, fault, students, straight slip fault. The third major type of fault is called straight slip fault. An illustration of a straight slip fault is shown figure uh, 7, as you see here. They are going to be opposite sides, but horizontally. Straight, straight slip fault form one opposing force causes the rock break and move horizontally it is different from uh, reserve fault or normal fault rocks move one on one side of fault in opposite direction to move movement of the other side for example normal fault going to opposite side like that like that uh, this one for example what happened this one uh, normal fault when they push each other it is reserve fault but when they move uh, horizontally we call this one straight slip fault fault a break in a body of rock along which one block slight relative to another that C fault is Spectacular example of straight slip faults. For example, when they uh, move horizontally, what happened? 
it is what pretty sometimes uh, lake or sea remember students there are three type of fault what are they strike fault let me write this one strike fault strike slip fault faults and uh, as you see it is move horizontally like that what about second kind of fault is reserve fault reserve fault what happened they are pushing each other is it they are pushing each other they are coming like that normal fault it is a normal normal fault what happened they are going to move opposite side like divergent uh, tectonic plate or divergent boundaries this is an example of students example of uh, faults in our daily life can you see when they move like that what happened can you see the log the rock uh, destroyed cross there uh, destroyed all right students please write everything in your notebook